And welcome back to Game of Thrones. As you guys recall, we're in jail now. Uh, she's got fingerprints on her face. Uh, I'm sure she would not be in that clean of clothing. Because, you know, let's be honest. This is medieval times. I apparently took the torch. My mouse seems really insensitive, though. Like, like the sensitive is down on it or something? I don't know. Rats. They're everywhere in King's Landing. Yes, they are, ma'am. Teeth. Human teeth. All nicely in a pile like that, though. I mean, hello. Um, look at the door. Jailer, please. Shut it. Please come here. <clears throat> uh, hello. I excuse me. What do you want? Can you get me out of here? Because if not, I don't want to know. Hey, no talking. Jailer, Jailer, come over here. Oh, don't you start again. Why don't you come here for a moment? We can have a little chat about it. God's woman, I said shut it. Or I will come in there, and you won't like what happened. Yeah. Well, what do you want then? Tell me, please. I'll do anything. Just tell me. Uh, bastard! Before the day's over, they'll take us straight to the block. So don't give me that look. What look? That's her normal look. Have you not seen? Have you you can leave the you. judgment to the father. Whatever gods you believe in. I'm sorry. I, I meant no offense. That's but not what I said. We have to keep our heads held high, even when everything else is taken from us. I have a son, a little baby boy. I think of the smell of his skin, his tuft of brown hair. There is nothing I wouldn't do, nothing, just to hold him again. Hmm. Dignity is worthless compared to that. Damn. What would you do in my place? Wait. What do you mean, what would I do in your place? I'll never see him again. Your family needs you. Nothing else matters. I do whatever it takes to survive. Whatever it takes. Damn right. We got this. My lord, please. Please take me out of here! Oh, Mira, hey. making friends already, I see. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. Uh huh. Wait, we got the torch. Club his ass. Oh no, no. Come on, you! No! no. Please! Wait! Wait! No! Get off! Shut me! your fucking mouth! They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. What are you doing here, Morgren? Come to rub your triumph in my face. Far from it, Lady Mira. I've come to make you an offer. Okay. I was thinking about what you said. Your relationship with Cersei is valuable. You never know when that might come in handy. What? And then I realized there's something far more valuable than your friends at court, Mira. A marriage. Your name. 
I want you as my wife. Your wife? Do you do all your wooing in cells? I'm new to courting, but I imagine less violence and intimidation. Wars are won and lost in the marriage bed, Mira. Kingdoms, too. Hmm. And I want my own kingdom. I'll start with an old and noble house, with a keep like Iron Rath. Well, how would that put him over? It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros. Why would I do that? What's in it for me? You keep your head, of course. And I'll get you out of here. But if you don't value that, Think of your bloodline, your precious Forrester legacy. This is your chance to make sure it carries on. What are you talking about? Point. Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. <laughs> he marches on your house in full force with ten times your numbers. I don't know, guys. I'm this guy's the bastard. None of your family will survive the battle. You don't know that! Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. If all this happens, I want revenge against Lud. Promise me he dies. Let me be clear, Mera. You're in no position to make demands. Oh. It's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce... Yeah, let's heads. attack this guy. Can I attack him now? The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that coal boy takes your place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to marry me. I don't like this guy. You'll I give up your attacking. power. You'll give up your ancestral home. But you'll be alive. No, no. It's not about self-surviving. So, Mira. It's about what family. What do you say? Family is important, guys. You will never have Ironrath. And you will never have me. What? You fool. I'd no. rather die. Do it. Do it. Hit him. Wait. Fine. Have it your way. Look at her smirk. Like she achieved something. She's still dying, but I guess she held her dignity. She won't get far. Not out here. Let me go! Sylvie! Uh, he's my brother! I, I wasn't finished! <laughs> what? When you're finished here, come see me. There's something I must show you. What? I don't trust these people, Garrett. Which is why I had to see Cotter. He's not well. And he, he won't live much longer. I need to see him. Is he in there? There's a reason I wanted to talk to you. I need you to do something for me. Kill him. I didn't want him to suffer anymore, Garrett. Just to ease his pain, but... Yep. Put him out of his misery. That's when they found me. The nightshade. I need you to be the one to end his suffering. What? It's our way, Garrod. You have to feed it to him. Why is it every game I have to choose to I'm kill somebody? I'm trusting you to do this, Garrod. You're the only one who can. I will. You can trust me. I'll do the right thing. Thank you, Garrod. He's in so much pain. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right, the big tree. Oh, 
Oh, oh. I wasn't sure if I had to type press movement. I was like, ah, what's going on? I think she's turning him into one of them. I did everything within my power to help your friend. But I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly. And has no place in here. I promised Sylvie I'd give it to him. To end his suffering. I don't know what that wildling told you. But that will kill him and taint his blood. You. That wound, though. It's me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? I want to see her. Where is she? Did something happen to her? Don't worry. She's right outside. She sent me to help you. I thought, I thought they took her away. been incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. Cotter's a fighter. Always has been. I can see that. But now you can use his death to give his life meaning. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. Forged from iron. The handle made with ironwood from this very tree. In my father's absence, you speak for House Forrester. It seems only right that you should have this now. You're here for a reason, Garrod. It's no accident they sent you. I promise. I'll make Lord Forrester proud. I know you'll do what's necessary. Your friend is dying, but his life is too valuable to waste. Uh... Give me his heart, his beating heart, and his death can have meaning. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrett. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. But... We must do this, Garrett. No. I fear what might happen if we don't. His beating heart? This is madness. Not madness. Necessity. Madness would be letting the North See your eyes? <laughs> you saw what happened after the fight. My warriors, they're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. For me, for the North Grove. I'm ready. Garrett. Please. Take it any longer. End his suffering. Use his life to make us strong, Garrett. Oh my god, it's gonna be one of those. Give him that poison, and his blood will be useless. We gotta protect Sylvie, guys. His blood to give us strength. I'm sorry. But I can't do it. Cotter's my friend. I wouldn't be here if not for him. And I have to respect what Sylvie asked me to do. Then so be it. <laughs> I, I had been sitting there watching it like it was a movie. Oh crap. <laughs>
Bulgar and Vicenair. Huh. We must burn the body. That's true. We don't want to come back as a walker. The White Hill camp? Oh, that's right. There's the... I forgot about that. All right, guys. Oh, There's too many fucking guards. Keep your heads down. We'll have to find a way to distract them. That must be Lod's tent. Okay, wait till he take the biggest one for himself. Horses hate being tethered during a battle. If we can just get them loose. Okay. And that tower gives a great view over their camp. More guards. Places crawling with them. Yeah, I think the horses are probably Enough the best thinking. Bet. Where do you want us? Cut the horses free. Send them galloping through the camp. Horses? That's what you want? That's what we need. A distraction. Fine. But if any White Hills get in our way, might have to cut them loose too. Okay. Meet here once you've done your part. Good luck, Basilisk. Try not to get yourself dead, Westerosi. <laughs> Westerosi. Westerosi! Can we rely on them? You can trust them to fight. Beyond that. Come on, let's get this done. Which part are we doing? How does nobody see us? I didn't... There was no guy there! Like, there's a guy right there. Didn't even notice us. And those guys are looking... Secure the forester boy. Make sure the little shit can't escape. He can't run if he doesn't have legs. Do what you must. Oh. If anything happens to me, kill him. Yes, father. Bring me my great sword. Fuck. What do we do? No, I want to make him bleed. Unfortunately. It's my better only chance. We will kill Lord, and the White Hill army will fall apart. Quick then, before he gets away. I mean, it's, it's what you gotta Don't do. Don't get too close. When he's distracted, we strike. Now, let's take them. Roderick, Why did we wait till he armed? You've just won this war for me coming here like this. Oh, more White Hills. <laughs> Nothing I can't handle. Which is fine by me. Makes my life that much easier. You forced me to do this, Lud. We were both forced. By time and circumstance. I hope you understand that. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Miss! How did I miss him?
Ah, ah dang it! <laughs> I hit Q! <laughs> I hit Q! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> I was doing so good, too! <laughs> It's over, Lord. I underestimated you, Cripple. Damn right. But it won't do you any good. My soldiers are already tearing down your gates. Yeah. That's for Asher. I, I should have said that, but I didn't. Where's the Rossi? You leave. Where's the Basilisk? We were separated during the fight, right before I took Lud's head. He's dead. Good. I thought Beska would be here. Veska will have to take care of herself. To Ayra! I bet you she went after Ryan. What do you think? You guys think it? Anyways, guys, I want to thank you all for watching the video. Make sure you hit that like button. And we'll see you guys later. Bye! For everyone. <laughs>